As the community of Stillwater mourns the death of 17 year old Isaac Schumann, we're learning more about his life and the lives of the other four victims. Our Kirsten Mitchell is live in Stillwater with what we're learning. Kirsten? And Frank, according to an online fundraiser, Isaac was an honor roll student here at Stillwater Area High School heading into his senior year. Instead, his loved ones are mourning his death and praying for those other victims still in the hospital. Described in a GoFundMe, 17 year old Isaac Schumann was driven and determined to be successful. Smart, kind, and a great brother, cousin, and son. He was killed Saturday when authorities say he was stabbed while tubing on the Apple River. Four others were seriously hurt. In an email to families, Stillwater Area Principal Robert Bach said in part The death of a classmate, even for those who didn't know them well, will impact each student differently, and all reactions need to be addressed. With great care and support. We encourage you to talk with your children about this sad news and help them process their feelings. At Nikolai Mew's first court appearance, 24 year old Riley Madison, one of two remaining hospitalized victims, joined the court virtually from her hospital bed. In her online fundraiser, she says she was tubing with friends when she came across a group needing help, saying an older man was being inappropriate and wouldn't leave. She said she lost her job and is struggling with mounting medical bills. Outside the courthouse, St. Croix County Sheriff Scott Knudsen spoke about the significance of a case like this in his community. This obviously is about to the furthest extreme we can get. Um, it's been a number of years since an incident even close to this has taken place up there. But... Now, two of the victims have been released from the hospital. The other two are remaining in the hospital tonight. Uh, meanwhile, a friend of Isaac's family said one way that people can support the family during this time is through their online fundraiser. Frank. All right, uh, Kirsten, live in Stillwater, thank you. We will keep looking into what happened and, of course, have continuing coverage for you on WCCO and streaming on CBS News Minnesota.